guys. Long time no chat. What have you been up to? How's life? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to drop in and do a tutorial for you all because I haven't done one in a really long time. And my friend Jane, um, Vanilla Hybrid, uh, had asked me to do the do a tutorial on this look that I posted on Beauty Broadcast. So, I'm doing it. <laughs> um, I did this tutorial a little bit different. What I did was, instead of just telling you all what products I use at first and then where I put them, I actually explain what I'm doing and I tell you while I'm doing it what what products I'm using and everything. This is the first time I tried doing a tutorial like this, but I just felt like switching it up a little bit and being a little different and extravagant. <laughs> um, this look is just something I came up with. Just I was just bored, uh, and I ended up watching, looking at the trees outside looking at the trees outside and I was like oh those would be pretty those are really pretty and then the sun started going down and I got this look this is the look that I get it kind of reminds me of um, the colors that are cast on the trees so here's a look and I love it I like the way it came out. Um, so, I'm trying out this new way of doing tutorials. I hope you all enjoy it. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy. Okay. So, I have already taken the liberty to prime my eyelid, my eyes and under my eyes. And I powdered under my eyes to protect from fallout. Um, I already primed my eyes with Stayed On Stray by Benefit. Um, once you have that all taken care of, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get, you're going to get a small eyeshadow brush, a flat eyeshadow brush like this. Um, and you are going to take this. This is, um, what's this called? This is Jade from, um, from the Ulta Minerals line. Um, you can take any Jade color, any green Jade color you would like. Um, and you just want to put, put that on the brush and pack it in on the first half of your eye. Keep packing it on on the on the first part of your eye. After you have that taken care of, you can take an Urban Decay palette and go to Mildew, which is that color right there. Um, you can you can use the same brush, but I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to change to this brush. Um, because I don't want to so you just put this mildew on the middle uh, on the middle part of your eye on, on the middle right here
just that little part right there. Okay, after you have that together, you take the same brush, and um, there are two greens in the e.l.f. palette. You're gonna take this first green right here, and you're going to um, put it right next, just, just a little bit right next to the middle. Or you can go over it if you want. I'm going over it. With Elf, you kind of have to pack it on a little bit. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I do something different usually. Um, I use a paintbrush. Um, that I just you could just get it at Walmart or wherever and I want to take the darker green right next to it um, and this is the elf the elf 32 palette um, in everyday colors so I'm just gonna take that darker green and mix it with a little bit of this kind of grayish darkest color right there that looks actually it's just a, to get it a little darker and you just go back and forth and mix. So I paint that on the outer lid of of my eye. And you can bring some in the crease to kind of blend it a little bit. And you want to also create kind of a V as well on the outside to give it a little bit of shape. Just like that. Okay, what I do next is I take, um, I take kind of, I take this green right here, just a little bit, and I put it on this fluffy dome blending brush that I just got, that I get. Tap it. And then I kind of just blend the colors together. Just a little bit though. Not too much. And like I said, you don't use too much of the green because then everything will look all muddy and you don't want that to happen. Um, okay. Then, after I do that, um, every time I do my makeup, after I use a pigment, which I just did, I then put on my primer and I'm using the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. Concealer, that's what I meant to say. Um, in dark. And I just, I just put that under my eye and kind of make it to get rid of the fallout. on last because when you're using pigments there's usually a lot of fallout so then you proceed to do then you proceed to do the rest of your makeup whether it be Curling your eyelashes and using mascara. 
mascara. Um, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I've also used um, false lashes for this look too sometimes, but as of right now, I don't feel like dealing with false lashes, so I'm just gonna use my own lashes. <laughs> A black from this is from this is from um, Mary Kay. You can't really see the there's I, you see I use it a lot because you can't even see the <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of create a small cat eye. It doesn't have to be too big. like that. I don't really put any um, any liner on the bottom with this look because there's so much green going on but I do um, take a liner brush well this is a version of a liner brush and I will um, take oil slick from Urban Decay and wet it a little bit I know this is going to be really disgusting. And do it like that. So there can be something down there. I find it easier to do this with brushes because um, I, I do painting so stuff like that is a lot easier for me. With this look also too, I'm going to put a little, just a little bit, a little bit of mildew from the same palette under, just to make, give, add some more color to it. Cause black eyeliner gets boring after a while. Like I said, not too much, just a little bit. And then I take my mascara, my your fa use your favorite mascara. Mine's just Glam Eyes from Rimmel London. So yeah. Okay, so that was the look. I hope you all enjoyed it. I, like I said, this is my first time really doing my tutorials like this and I would appreciate some kind of feedback to help make it easier, to help make it better, um, because I kind of I kind of enjoy doing it like this and I want to keep continue to do, do my tutorials like this. So any feedback would be fine, just be polite, please. <laughs> Um, anyways, that's, that's my tutorial, that's my video, um, I'm hoping that I can do a couple more this week because this is, this is my week off, like I said, at school, for me, it's, you go six weeks and then you have a week off, and then you go another six weeks and have another week off, so, that's why I'm utilizing this time as much as possible, and at work, they cut my hours down a little bit because I'm in school. Thank you. <laughs> but um, when the rain tell me what you thought. And tell me what you would like to see in the future from me and in my channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. And bye bye.